So there are a range of mobility devices in the wheeled mobility world, from a standard manual chair, to an adjustable manual chair, to a scooter, to a power chair, to a power chair with power seating. So a standard manual chair is just that, it's standard. The rear wheel is fixed on the back post, preventing adjustment for self-propulsion. Its advantage is it folds and can be easily put in the trunk of a car. For somebody who has the upper extremity strength and endurance to self-propel, an adjustable manual chair is essential to move the rear wheel as far forward to make self-propulsion as easy as possible. When self-propelling a manual chair isn't feasible, we move to power mobility. And the entry-level product is a scooter known in Medicare coverage language as a POV, standing for Personal Operated Vehicle. A scooter is a three-wheel device. You need both your upper extremities to steer and control the speed with your fingers. If your upper extremities fatigue and tire and using a scooter is no longer feasible, a power chair operated with a joystick becomes a more efficient way to get around. The placement of the drive wheels makes indoor mobility much more efficient because it's a tighter turning radius. So if the progression of MS has resulted in the trunk not being able to maintain a position against gravity, we offer power seating where we can change the orientation by tilting or reclining or elevating the leg rest. Power seating can be put on most power bases.